Well, for the first time in quite a while, today has not been a complete washout. The deluge within the last couple of days, however, has created a lot of problems. The flooding is now causing raw sewage to openly flow into streets, creeks, and rivers. We have team coverage tonight breaking down the impact the nonstop rain is having. Our reporter standing by across the area tonight. We begin with NBC 15's Karis Harmon. Uh, Karis, the rain is to blame for these sewage overflows. Yes, and officials say there are many health risks associated with being exposed to nasty water. The National Weather Service tells me just this month, Mobile has gotten 99.9 .9 inches of rain, with 19 out of 26 days of measurable rain. The rain has caused flooding, road closures, and other issues, but one of the most hazardous, sanitary sewage water overflows, also known as sewage spills. It gets diluted a little bit when you have the kind of issues like we're having right now where it's a bunch of rainwater that's causing the spills. So it gets diluted a little, but it's still everything that's going down the toilet, everything that's going down the drain. Cade Kissler with the Mobile Baykeeper tells me sewage spills happen when a line is blocked or when there's not enough capacity after a heavy rain that the sewage actually starts to spill out of the system and onto the roadways, waterways, and neighborhoods. There have been hundreds of thousands of gallons of water that have been released in our area alone. In a map released by Adam, we were able to find just how much water has overflowed. Just in the last 10 days, there was more than 750,000 gallons released in Bayou Labatry. In Mobile, Moss has estimated more than 21,000 gallons were released, and Pritchard Water reports more than 1 million gallons released since August 16th. I reached out to each of these companies. Pritchard Water hasn't gotten back to me. Moss says this is just something that happens when it rains in Mobile, and Bayou Labatry Utilities was closed. Kistler says it's hard to tell if water may be contaminated, but avoid it for at least 48 hours just to be safe. Stay out of waterways in terms of swimming because there can both be sewage spills but also runoff from pet waste and livestock as well as septic tanks that don't work. So we get real high bacteria levels um, anytime after that. He tells me if you come across a manhole like the one you see on your screen right now that's overflowing, make sure you report it to your water company and avoid it. Live in Pritchard, Karis Harmon, NBC 15 News.